Everything is on track, folks. In the interests of safety, the rocket is fueled late in the countdown by the high-speed cryogenic pumps. Hi there, this is Jake, and I'm here today to explain my Mindstorms and Power Functions monorail train system. So this is for my Space Center, which you'll see on my other YouTube videos. So I thought I'd just focus in on how the monorail works. Um, so it's on a time sequence that sits there in the middle building. It's the launch that goes out to the end and back into the middle. And I've just programmed it so it will go to the other end as well. So now let's get it going and I'll explain how it works. So here it is. This has got a power functions motor and an infrared receiver in it. And you see down here, there is a remote control. And that is being operated by a servo. Okay, so that's all programmed. And here you'll see ultrasonic sensor. So that, uh, okay. so the ultrasonic sensor, uh, everything is plugged into this Mindstorms NXT here, which has got the program in it. The sensor tells uh, the remote control there um, whether, when to turn on and off. So basically the remote control is being manually operated by the servo here. So very simple, but also very effective. You also notice this track is straight and the remote control is pointing straight along the building. Now I've just done this new bit here where it goes out to the other end. So the, the uh, remote control is actually firing its infrared beam all the way along the track. Okay, and see, I've just got another ultrasonic sensor there to tell it when to stop at the other end. And here, if you come back around here, you'll see here there is a colour sensor. A colour sensor, and if you look at the back of the train here, there are coloured tiles. So the colour sensor here senses the coloured tiles. It's got blue for when it's travelling this way, it knows when to stop. And red, it's looking for red when it comes back the other way. And the reason I did that was to make sure it stopped at the right place on the platform. Uh, so, um, that's it. That's how it works. We use Mindstorms to operate a remote control. Um, just a simple RC car remote control, power function styles. Uh, and it was really effective. The only uh, downside of it is that it really only works properly in a straight line. So, there you go. Thank you very much. Okay, I forgot to mention uh, the details of this monorail train here. Uh, credit, credit where it's due. This is mostly based on a JK Brickworks design for his light rail train. He came up with the idea of using a um, roller coaster track as a monorail track. Um, but basically, you can find the designs on his website. Um, this isn't too different, it's just designed. It doesn't need to go around corners or up and down slopes, so I've put the carriages closer together. And you can see the linkages here are a bit different. Here I'm using a bar through the roller coaster hitch there to link on. And the side here I'm using some droid arms to connect them. Uh, the major difference with this um, monorail compared to his is mine is geared to go a lot more slowly. Uh, his, his one goes super quick. I had to find a way to add some extra gears in the front here um, in order to in order to slow it down. So and the main reason for that was because I was using a remote control, basic on-off remote control, it basically goes from zero to a hundred straight away. There's nothing, there's nothing in between. And so uh, when I used his gearing. My, my train was doing burnouts when it was starting, which, so that was, that was a problem. Um, and of course the reason why I used a single speed controller was I tried to use a multi-speed controller, um, but that was just too unreliable, it was unpredictable. You, you know what they're like, they're terrible. Um, you turn it one way, you turn it back the same distance and it doesn't stop, it just keeps going super fiddly. Um, so yeah, the, the basic on-off, um, backwards, forwards, remote control worked a whole lot better, but I needed to use different gearing. And it's very reliable. Sometimes this little gearbox area down here, the way it's arranged is a little bit um, odd to get all of the gears to fit together properly, um, out of necessity. 
and sometimes these bushes work loose and then the then it stops working properly but you just push the bush back tighten it all up again and it's fine so yeah yep you can make uh, trains to go on roller coaster track um, and yeah they're pretty cool it was perfect for um for my model so thank you jk brickworks and jason